Hello, hello, welcome everyone. We have something very special today. We have a pony coming all the way from Poland. Jakub, who is a follower of the channel, has sent me his baby sun ribbon to restore, along with some super cute pictures that he's also allowed me to share. So this is Jakub, and you can see baby sun ribbon and how important this pony was, I think. So I'm not gonna lie, this was a lot of pressure because this is someone's beloved pony and I wanted to do a really good job, even though, as you will see, we couldn't fix everything. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope Jakub is happy when he sees it and it's now on its way to Poland. So, ah, crossing fingers, he likes it. So let's talk a little bit about what we need to do to repair this pony. The eyes, of course, the skin and the symbol. And we also have to deal with the hair. I emailed Jakub and I asked him whether he wanted a full V hair and he said yes, so we're going to do that. But the first step is to try to get rid of some of this yellowing. And to do this we will use a combination of soap, acetone, peroxide and enthusiasm. So let's remove the head so we can get rid of the tail. Here you can see the original color of this pony and the first signs of concern because the yellowing has gone through the plastic and is now inside the pony as well, which I had never seen. But that was a problem for future Gisela and today's Gisela only has to remove the tail, which wasn't as easy as Gisela thought. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I am Gisela. <laughs> not that it's not obvious. So this is done and we're not going to reuse any of these parts so we can move on to the next step. Oh, although I wanted to make sure that I knew what colors I was supposed to use. But with that out of the way, it is time now for the baths. And this is very simple, all I'm going to use is some warm water and a hand soap. Any soap will do, dish soap, hand soap, plus an old toothbrush or any kind of brush. But let's do a little music for this part and I will see you back when we start the next step. And I will tell you more about this pony and share some exciting news. So, see you very soon! Before we move on to the next step, I just wanted to say uh, this took about two to three weeks. I used cream, I used the liquid peroxide, and the result was still some yellowing. The main problem though is that the yellowing is also inside the pony, like I had said before. So I think it is possible to improve this, but it will take a long time or very strong sun. So what I'm going to do next is use some acetone and see how nice we can leave this pony before we send it back to Poland and hopefully it can continue the treatment over there during the summer. <laughs> but I don't want to keep it away from home for much longer. So let's focus on the next step because we still have some ground to cover. So a last bit of acetone and a last round of peroxide and I will see you in the next section very soon.
Step number two, we are going to re-hair the pony. Here I was going through my box of hairs <laughs> to see if I had something to match the existing ones. Luckily I had this um, salmon color, I would say, uh, from one of the Argentinian ponies, which was perfect. I'm so glad I saved this little bit of hair. <laughs> Which brings me to the first piece of news I wanted to share with you and it's that I have been working on a little shop to sell some of the, the tools and accessories I use on the videos. You can see the links down in the description but it's an Etsy store and I try to make the postage as low as possible, uh, especially for international buyers. But all purchases come with a little freebie <laughs> and at the moment I have some rehairing tools uh, some needles and some brushes. I have also been testing some hair samples, uh, nylon hair. The problem is that I can't find all the colors I have used in the video, so there is a smaller selection, but I think I will upload those as well. And the ultimate goal <laughs> is to also upload some of the bait ponies or damaged ponies I have in my collection that I'm not going to use for the videos. I have loads of them that are not like too damaged and they will be great for either customizing or repairing and see if you like the hobby. Just a quick note here before I close this topic, I asked Jacob if he wanted me to replace all the hair or leave the original and he said please replace all of it. I think I already mentioned this, I'm getting old, but yeah, here is the step where I actually start replacing. So back to uh, selling bait ponies, because a lot of people have asked me where to find ponies like this and it's not easy. I have received some very kind donations and gifts and I also uh, check eBay and Vinted and sites like that, but unfortunately the worst condition a pony is in the more chances it will be thrown in the garbage So I will put all of these ponies up for sale and I will create little packages So you don't have to buy the tools separately. You can have everything in one go to try restoring Just give me a few days to arrange this tool. And as we prepare for the rehearing of the main, I wanted to briefly tell you about this other thing I have been working on. You might have seen it in the community tab for the channel, but the book Restoring My Little Pony is almost done, it's almost finished. I just have to uh, proofread it, add a couple of images and find out the best ways to um, distribute it. Because there will be a digital version, but I would also like to do a printed version. So again, give me a few days <laughs> and I will let you know through the usual channels. And just to reiterate, I like that word, but it is difficult to say, <laughs> all patrons above the twice as fancy tier will receive the book for free. I know I have been promising so many things for the patrons. They are coming, like I said, it's been a difficult couple of months. And even though I really loved doing this project and I wish I could do a project like this always, <laughs> I wanted to do a good job but I wasn't in a perfect uh, state of mind, so I kept making mistakes. You will see when we go to the painting uh, part of this video, I kept dropping the brush. I didn't want to show my hands because my nails were so horrible. I can't like keep them painted. <laughs> it's, it's very messy. <laughs> this is a very messy video, but I don't know, real, I guess. And you can see some of the, the struggles and maybe, I don't know, maybe it helps in some way to see that, yeah, we all have difficult days, difficult months <laughs> and sometimes it's okay to push through and sometimes it's okay to take a little break, though this video has both of them. <laughs> it has lots of delays, lots of mistakes and pushing through despite bad nails and horrible fine motricity. <laughs> this pony was worth it and the trust put on me by Jakob was worth it. But anyway, here we are gluing the hair in place, then we will do the tail and then we'll go to the painting. So a brief story about this particular pony. Well, not this particular pony, this line of pony, this family of ponies. <laughs> this pony is called Baby Sun Ribbon and it's in the Baby Ember pose. Now there were two back card stories, one for the US and one for the UK. I'm going to read the one for the UK. And it said, the rainbow baby ponies live in a cozy little cave on Rainbow Mountain. They call it their rainbow nursery. One day, baby Sun Ribbon was filling her feeding bottle with water from the rainbow fountain when she felt something tugging at her mane. She looked up and saw a sunbeam. I'm sorry, said the sunbeam. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted some pretty hairs from your mane to wear at a party. I'll make you something pretty to wear, laughed the rainbow baby. She shook her mane 
and the next second the Sunbeam was wearing a beautiful ribbon. After the party, the Sunbeam returned the ribbon. It's a magic ribbon now, she whispered. Your own magic sun ribbon. And that's the story of this pony, which came, obviously, with a comb and a very beautiful ribbon. Now the US story is a little different. I'm going to also read it, you can skip this part if you find this embarrassing like I do. <laughs> but someone wrote this very lovingly, so we're going to read it. And we're going to enjoy it because we are young at heart and we are not cynical. <clears throat> One cloudy day, the rainbow babies were bored with their nursery toys. Gazing out the window, they saw the rainbow trying to break through the clouds. Let's make a rainbow, they shouted. They scampered outside with all their hair ribbons and began to tie them together to make long colorful stripes. When they were finished, it looked like a rainbow indeed, but it was on the grass, not in the sky where rainbows should be. The ponies touched the str Blech. Excuse me, continuing. <laughs> that was good timing. Uh, the ponies touched the stripes with their noses and the ribbons turned into a real rainbow and floated up in the air. Now we have a double rainbow, laughed the rainbow baby, as everyone came outside to admire the pony's beautiful creation. And those are the two backcard stories of the US and UK. And <laughs> again, not planned, I think I made the camera fall asleep with my story. Watch it go, watch it go, and me completely unaware. And then you expect things to be on focus. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Time to move on. Let's leave you again with some music and I'll see you very soon.
Let's take a look at the pony before the restoration. Uh, there was some yellowing, uh, there was some hair missing, and the eyes and symbols were almost completely erased. And after some work, here is the after of Jacob's pony. We have renewed the eyes, the symbols, the hair, the skin is a little better. So let's take another look back. Oh, I'm just realizing now, I don't think I know the name of this pony, like the name that Jacob gave this pony. So please let us know, let us know in the comments if you are around, <laughs> Jacob. And I hope you like the restoration. As with all of the restorations I do, you can always revert all of these. You can erase the symbols on the eyes and take the hair off and do it again. <laughs> but I still hope that this iteration <laughs> of the pony will stay with you for a little while and it, that it brings back good memories. So thank you so much for sending her or it to me and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great week or month, uh, hopefully week. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>